Basketball, currently one of my favorite sports to watch and play. Okay, some of you watching this could honestly care less about basketball but love manga and anime. But trust me, you don't even know anything about basketball to enjoy a slam dunk. This manga isn't just about the game of basketball, it's about teaching lessons in life about working hard and moving forward despite roadblocks. It just uses the game of basketball as a way to portray these themes. You will learn a lot despite not knowing or liking anything about basketball. Slam Dunk even goes out of his way to teach about the game of basketball to beginners. Hell, Sakuraki, the main character, also starts out as a complete noob to the game. So stay for the rest of the video and give Slam Dunk a try after you finish watching this. Before we get started though, if you follow the NBA, you will know the NBA Finals just concluded and the Milwaukee Bucks won the 2021 NBA Championship. But most importantly, Giannis Antetokounmpo won his first championship and finalized MVP. Giannis is the most inspirational and motivational player in the NBA at the moment. His interviews after games are really something else. I really wanted to do something like Giannis does, which is to inspire and motivate. And since this channel is mostly about video games and manga, why not combine the two with a basketball manga? So that takes us to Slam Dunk. Oh, and about Giannis, there will be more about him later. The reason I started reading Slam Dunk is because first of all, I wanted a basketball manga that was motivational and inspiring. I started looking for options and Slam Dunk seemed like the best fit, so I started reading. At first, I was definitely enjoying it, but I just thought it was a bit slow. I kept reading honestly because I was on a trip and it was all I had to do. The reason I wasn't enjoying the series in the first couple of volumes was the main character Sakuragi Hanamichi. Sakuragi just felt really cocky to me, also pretty annoying. Sakuragi first joins his school's basketball team, Shohoku, just to impress his crush Haruko, which does not work out too well of course. Sakuragi obviously sucks when he first starts playing basketball. Yeah, he's tall and athletic, but that's not all you need to be good at basketball, or really anything, despite some players believing that. You know, but I wish I could just run. Running with seven feet and running, just dunk. Like that takes no skill at all. <laughs> Sakuragi complains about all the training and practice he has to undergo when he first joins the basketball team, but it's really something everyone has to do if they want to be great at something, whether it's basketball or really anything. Sakuragi is obsessed with the slam dunk. He is tall enough and athletic enough to do one. He tries to do one when Haruko tells him about the slam dunk, but he jumps so high he hits his head on the backboard. All Sakuraki wants to do is try to dunk. He doesn't care about the basics of basketball, not dribbling, passing, or shooting. The slam dunk to Sakuragi is the coolest part of basketball, so why try to do anything else? It's the thing that will give him all the attention with Haruko and the other girls after all. Sakuragi finds everything else boring and quickly quits the basketball team after just one day. From only one volume, we learn so much about Sakuragi. Sakuragi thinks just because he is athletically gifted, he doesn't need to work to be great at basketball. After all, he can already slam dunk, so why do anything else? Okay, now back to Giannis. Just look at him, he's huge and arguably the most dominant player in the NBA right now. But he wasn't always like this. A lot of people will see this, but not many of them see this. Giannis, despite being big and tall, unlike Sakuragi, he kept working. He knew it wasn't going to be enough. He had to improve further to be great. Many people are athletic and tall, like Giannis, but how many of them have his work ethic and drive? Even after Giannis won his two MVPs, he kept moving forward. For him, it wasn't enough. He had to do it again. He wanted to keep challenging himself until he won a championship and even then he keeps moving forward. More on that later though, back to Sakuragi. Sakuragi quits the basketball team but he quickly gets up and rejoins. Sakuragi here shows one of his positive character traits. Sakuragi can't leave a job unfinished. This is when he starts actually practicing to be great. The first thing he must practice is of course the basic layup. At first, he doesn't even want to practice it though. Sakuragi hates the layup because it is not glamorous like the slam dunk. So why even practice it? He could just slam dunk. Sakuragi gets into a fight with one of his teammates, Rukawai, because Sakuragi is so stubborn about not wanting to practice the layup. Rukawai hates Sakuragi's personality when he first joins the team. Rukawai is a rookie, but is still one of the best players on the team. He is Shohoku's star rookie. Even though Rukawai is so great, he keeps practicing. Rukawai was a star in middle school and is in love with the game of basketball and his star players. So he knows what it takes to be great. When Sakuragi comes in and thinks he can just be great purely off being tall and athletic, he hates that. Because Rukoa actually had to put in work to be great. I gotta actually learn how to play basketball, how to have skill, you know? I'll take that any day. So who is Sakuragi to come in and think he can be the best player on the team? So of course, this rubs Rukoa the wrong way. Sakuragi is forced to practice the layout by the captain of the basketball team, Akagi. Akagi is not only the captain of the team, but the team's heart and soul. He motivates everyone else to be great because he wants to win so bad. Akagi wants to bring home the national championship for Shohoku High School so badly. That's what he's been dreaming about for 3 years. He's gone through so many ups and downs but he thinks this will be the year he can bring it home. Akagi is a great character and member of the team. He keeps everyone from quitting and makes them keep moving forward. 
despite any hardships they might go through. He learns to deal with Sakuragi's antics as well. After the fight Sakuragi has with Rukawa, Akagi decides to suspend them both from practice. The next day, Sakuragi is found by Haruko to be practicing the layup on an outside court. So Sakuragi is practicing the layup but finds it extremely hard. Haruko decides to teach him the technique to pull off the layup. And after trying, Sakuragi is able to pull one off. But that isn't enough, of course he must do it again. But after just one layup, Sakuragi feels that feeling of accomplishment and how good it felt. It was something he had to actually work for. Sakuragi's ability to leap high and him being tall was something he was mostly just given. The layup was something he had to actually work to get good at. Feeling that feeling of accomplishment, Sakuragi decides to keep trying to get better at layups. This one simple thing sparks that motivation and drive Sakuragi needed. Of course, he is not exactly there, but the hardest part after all is starting. Enough about Sakuragi's journey though, I want you guys to experience it for yourself. I want to touch on more aspects of the manga. First of all, it's side characters. Slam Dunk's characters are all very well developed. We get to know about their backstories and everything they have gone through. One of my favorite characters, which I actually can't even reveal who it is because that itself would be a spoiler and I want you guys to go in as blind as possible, but his character's backstory is revealed shortly before the latter half of the manga, and it was a turning point for me when it comes to the manga. The way the character changes and comes to realize his flaws is so amazing. He grows so much in just a short time. It made me so interested in reading and he wasn't even the main character. Sakuragi himself goes through so much that you want to see him grow to the very end and see what happens. Just his journey man, Sakuragi learns so much and wants to improve so badly throughout the story. It really is just like Giannis. He worked insanely hard and even when he is in knowledge for his work with his two MVPs, he kept at it. Giannis also isn't done. He is constantly improving himself and his game to be better. And as I said, not only his game but him as a person. He motivates people to be great and make their dreams come true. That's why I said it in the beginning, you don't need to play basketball for Slam Dunk to influence you. Slam Dunk and sports show you that things don't come easy. Sakuragi thought that in the beginning and it came to bite him in the ass. Until he started realizing that he had to work to be great, that's when he started changing and improving. The simple act of finally making a layup for Sakuragi was so satisfactory, he realized that it's going to take work and time, not everything will be handed to him. This could also apply to just about anything in life. I'm gonna apply it to what I'm doing right now, recording a video. When I first started, I hated my voice and kept trying to change it and find some other way to talk. But then I realized that nothing will change if I don't try it and try to improve the way I present my videos. If I don't try, I will stay the same forever. There really is no shortcut to it. Going back to another character in Slam Dunk, Akagi. Akagi has dreamed of winning the national championship for 3 years. Akagi could have easily just given up his dreams because it was too hard. Or he could have transferred schools to win a national championship with a better team. If you know anything about the NBA, you probably know where I'm going with this. But Akagi wants to win a championship with Shohoku. It wouldn't be the same if he left the school to go to Kainen, another high school. Kainen is already a great team so adding Akagi would be unfair. Winning a championship with Kainen would also not give Akagi the same amount of satisfaction as compared if he won a win with Shohoku. Now again, going back to Giannis, he stayed with the Milwaukee Bucks to win an NBA championship and you can clearly see how happy he was when he won. All the hard work paid off and he was able to win with the team he was drafted to. He didn't leave to join a better team or complain about the players he was playing with. As compared to another player, Kevin Durant, who left his team to join the Warriors, a team that was one win away from winning it all the previous year. Kevin Durant went on to win his two titles there. But there is a clear difference between his celebration as to Giannis' celebration when they won their first championships. Kevin Durant seems happy but you can just tell he wasn't that satisfied. He even came out later to say that yeah, he was really happy to win, but he still felt empty. This isn't shade at Kevin Durant, he is actually one of my favorite players. I love his game and he also has a huge work ethic, but if I'm being honest, his championships don't mean as much when you compare them to Giannis' one title. So compared to Giannis, he shows so much emotion because he did it with a team that he was with his entire career. The team that believed in him, the team that he went through heartbreak with, and the city that supported him. He considered them family, which is what Sakuragi and the basketball team feel like, a family. They support each other a ton. When Sakuragi joins the team, he's seen as some fool, but he shows determination, so everyone starts to warm up to him. Akagi pushes everyone to be the best version of themselves. Rukuwa shows them what it takes to be great, and Sakuragi is the beginner that is still learning the ropes. Not to say the team is perfect though. They get into a ton of fights and problems with each other, but what team does not go through their own internal struggles? It's something every team will have to go through if they want to be great. Even after hard losses, the team keeps getting up. To the Shohoku basketball team, there is no such thing as defeat. Defeat to them will be giving up. The last thing I want to touch on is the manga's incredible pacing. Pacing is something that is super important when it comes to basically any story. Whether it's a video game, a manga, or a movie. 
It surely will set the tone. If the story is too fast paced, the readers will lose track of what's going on and won't feel the effect of big moments because of how quick things move. If the story is too slow, the readers will simply just lose interest. So striking that perfect balance is the key. Slam Dunk does exactly that. It strikes the perfect balance. It introduces its characters and goals of the story in perfect moments. The characters grow at a great rate as well. The pacing is what makes the story work. You can't just have Sakuraki try with Dunk and automatically have him be the best player. There will be no point in reading it then. That's also not how life works. This story takes time to unfold, which also goes for life. So back to Giannis on Tukumpo. Giannis wasn't always the Greek freak he was today. It took time. He didn't come out of the womb or even go into the NBA as one of the best basketball players in the world. Even when he entered the NBA and won his two MVPs, it still took him time to win. Slam Dunk portrays the time it takes to be great almost perfectly. Sakuraki and his teammates really have to go through a lot to get what they want, which is my favorite part of the book. It's the journey and how these characters get through each situation. Akaki, Rukua, and Sakuragi just never give up and learn new lessons throughout the book. Every struggle they go through is just another lesson they can use to apply to their life and game. Which is exactly what we should do as well. Instead of seeing something challenging and giving up or thinking we can't do it, always try and believe you can do it. You never know what you are capable of, and if you aren't able to do it, use that as a lesson and apply it to whatever you are trying to do. Man, I love this series so much. It was a perfect basketball manga. It was everything I was looking for in a manga. Something motivational and inspiring. You can learn so much from Slam Dunk, so why not actually apply it to your life? And not only if you play basketball, that's what's so great about it. You don't need to like basketball to enjoy or learn from Slam Dunk. Same goes for someone like Giannis. Same goes for someone like Giannis. Anyone can watch his interviews and be inspired. No need to know every little detail about basketball. Slam Dunk overall is the perfect shonen manga because of the lessons it teaches and how motivational it is. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.